out of an older 2007 Mullis Dragster. We've got all the old components taken off and the new ones on. We've got the MSD power grid, a race pack sportsman data logger, and then of course we've got the K&R heavy duty wiring kit uh, and relay panel that we're gonna install. And when it goes in the car, it'll be mounted vertical somewhere in here, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. As you can see, I've got some of the wires laid out. Everything's labeled really nicely in this kit, even wired for wire from one end of the strand to the other. Everything's labeled, which makes this job a breeze. Really, the toughest part of this whole thing is making it look pretty. Um, once you've got your di wiring diagrams laid out, it's really intuitive. Just getting the wires onto the board is so simple. Um, but the part that is tough is just making it all look good. So I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks that I use um, to get me through these wiring jobs and to make them look good. Um, that way you have a really nice final product. So one of the things that you'll notice once you start throwing wires onto this board is that things can turn into a mess really quickly. Like if you look down here, I've already got kind of like a knot going on and this is where you kind of start to lose hope that you're gonna have a clean job by the time you're done. But what I'm really trying to focus on at this point is everything right here close to the board. And kind of what I mean by that is that um, one of the things that this kit comes with and it's really nice are these uh, labeled heat shrink tubes. Um, so as I cut them, I'm trying to pay attention to even the most minute details. Like I'm trying to make a straight cut on the, sh the shrink tube. Um, when I put the wires on to the board itself, I'm trying to make sure that all the wires all the labels on the wires read the same way. Like just small details like that will really add up along the entire process um, to the things that go into making this a really nice finished product. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. I know that by the time I'm done with this board, I'll have a big mess down here. But I also know that by the time I'm done stringing this across the entire car, I'll have run my hands through this a hundred other times, uh, knowing that everything's gonna be nice and straight by the time I'm done. So really right now, the focus is on the small details right here, making sure that I start the job nice and clean, and then I'll just keep that in mind the entire time that I'm working on this project, is that everything needs to be nice, clean, organized, um, and, and just not let it get out of hand from the start. That's where most people get overwhelmed, and they say, well, wiring's not for me, it's just not my type of thing. Um, if you start out and, and go through the entire process with a little bit of patience, it'll get you a long ways. part where you have to start thinking a little bit about which direction these are going to go. Um, every wire that I've put on here, I've kind of been paying attention to the wiring diagram that comes with the kit just to make sure I'm getting the right wire and the right color on each terminal post. Um, but from here, I'm going to start bundling these wires together. And as I do so, I know that certain wires, say like this ignition wire needs to go to the ignition unit. Well, that's going to go to a different spot on the car than the rest of these wires. Same goes for the ignition accessory. Um, I know that the RPM activated switch wire has to go over to the ignition box, so those all need to go a certain way. So as I bundle this together and start making it pretty with a bunch of zip ties, um, I'm really gonna be pay paying attention to which direction the wires run, and this is sort of where the wiring job takes shape as far as um, when you implement it to the race car from outside. Um, you just need to make sure that your wires are going to the right places um, and that in, in making them all look good it's it's functionally sound as well otherwise you'd be going back and cutting a bunch of zip ties off and starting over and we don't want to do that we want to try to do it the right time the first way through without forgetting any wires and um, throughout all this I'm still uh, paying real close attention to detail trying to make sure everything looks perfect um, because looks and functionality are uh, equally as important when you're trying to do a, a really good job on these. So um, I will start bundling these together and uh, we'll see where that gets us. This was a little bit of a challenge just because it's not mounted in the race car, but at the same time, it just takes a little bit of holding the board down and moving the wires and getting them just right. But um, you know, a lot of the Another one of the questions that a lot of people ask me is uh, how do I get this nice bundle where it's nice and tight like that. And there are certain tools that you can use where you put each wire through a little hole and then it just kind of strings it out as you go along. Um, I don't quite have the patience for that so I just kind of 
fiddle with it until it looks right and I get the wires in the right spot and just start placing out zip ties. It's not like I measure them out, but just kind of eyeball them to where they look even and nice and neat. And then you come out with something like this.